I'm Dan Galush and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Plank. Today we got a couple of items that we've talked about in the past, but uh, I never have combined the two. Uh, one of them, in fact this is the main reason we're shooting, is right here. This is called a Dust Devil BB. Now, what they're for is they're kind of like those Norma 223s, the frangible ammo that I've been firing, except <laughs> that's a lot higher powered and on a different scale. But still, the idea is the same. What these do is these will hit a target and they'll disperse. Um, but there's also been a problem. And I've run into it a little bit, but not as much as what I've heard other people. Uh, they'll fire it and it will actually fly apart as it leaves the barrel of the gun. Um, like I said, I've had it, I don't know, just a few times. But um, it, it really hasn't hurt anything that I know of. And it, we're going to try these in another gun. One that I say is more towards BBs. Even though it shoots both pellets and BBs, it's got a smooth bore. And you may already guess which one I'm talking about. It's the Daisy Powerline 35 that we've talked about in the past. We did a review on it, and uh, I don't have anything in it now. You, can, you won't hear any rattling. I made sure all the BBs were out because I want to try these, and I'm going to load them one at a time. I'm not going to put them in the reservoir, and yet maybe I will put a few in the reservoir because I want to see if the magnetic part where you pull this back will actually grab a BB so maybe we will load a few rounds inside the chamber because it's easy enough to empty them out and we'll see how they shoot in this Daisy Powerline 35 and we're going to be shooting at our old uh, Pepsi cans like we have before because it got a bullseye these are supposed to be very accurate I really haven't found them any more accurate than uh, the Hornady's that I use, the Black Diamond, the Black Diamond to me, and that and also the Umarex Steel, those are the two best that I've uh, fired. Uh, this, um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see anyway. We're going to shoot at some of uh, those uh, Pepsi cans and we'll see how it works. Okay, I think that you can see them all in here. I did load some, like I said, into the chamber. I'm going to get around behind you and fire this. I got you zoomed in on them. Another thing that we're going to test is to see how the penetration is on those cans with these, or if they just fly apart. Now here's the first one, well, by golly, it grabbed one. So uh, there is enough magnetic. We're going to put, oh, maybe three full pumps in there, something like that. We'll put four in on this. We'll see what the penetration's like also, the accuracy and everything else. So uh, hang with us and we're going to give this a shot.
Okay, I fired everything that I loaded in here. And you can tell I was firing towards the end. I was firing at both of the end cans. But we did have a lot of them that either didn't make it as a target or they flew apart. I'm not too sure. Okay, I brought some cans up here to take a look at. And you may notice that when we were firing, I don't know if they were dispersing, like I talked about, where they blow out of the barrel and just don't make it there, or if they were going off, falling short, or whatever. I just don't feel that these dust devils are as accurate as what they say. Uh, yes, they've got a good idea here because it'll hit something you're not going to have any ricochets they're supposed to fly apart and there's a little rib if you look at one and it's got a ridge right on it where they must be molded together and i have found some of them afterwards that they'll split and they'll fall apart i found some halves on the ground before uh, anyway i brought up some cans we're going to take a look at these uh, this one it looks to me like it's got a dent right here so the BB must have hit, didn't go in, and you can see the crease, maybe you can, I don't know. But it's on the bullseye. There's definitely a dent there that I would say is a BB dent. There's one over here that went through. So it shows right there that they're not always consistent at flying apart because this one went all the way through. Now, this one I think was on the end where I was shooting it the most. Uh, because there's definitely two marks in here and there's also a little dent like that other one right over here to the side There's one direct bullseye. There's one over here on the side Both of which went all the way through so penetration on these. Yeah, you do have some penetration um, If you're shooting at steel targets, which they say you can shoot these at steel targets That's not re-recommended on a BB, but they say you can do that with these because they hit and they fly apart Uh I have done it, and they're right, it, they have fallen, flown apart, but I've also, I was telling you about that little half thing, I've had half of the BB come back at me, so I don't know if I'd recommend that or not. Um, here's one here, direct bullseye, I hit that, came through back here, uh, another one that had penetration, um, this one's just side shot. This one's one here that I was shooting at more. This would be the end can that was down to the left. Um, it looks like I may have hit one up here again and didn't go through. I got one here that did go through. I got one right here and then the bullseye area and that went through and you can see them back here. Uh, I do notice right here where they penetrated. I don't know if you can see this or not but each one has just laid it open a little bit it's not a big disperse like you know and usually you see one i don't know if i got one here i can show you what i mean or not uh well this one didn't make a real good penetration in fact this one just opened up a little bit but it gives you the idea of see how it disperses it it opens it up the, this opened it but not the same way it's almost like it's got a little door and in the middle of each one of those there's a dent. So that shows you that BB wasn't going through real hard at that point. And it hit that, and I would say that probably after it did that, it was pretty much spent. It was, I don't even know if it shattered back there or not. Um, let me go and run down there real quick. I'm gonna take a look, see if I can find some parts. So hang on. All right, what I did is I went down there and couldn't find any parts at all. So off camera, I grabbed one of my empty water bottles and fired at it just to see what would happen quite interesting uh, one was uh, right here the BB went in and that's it right down there did not do anything else but it also did not go all the way through it did not penetrate like it did on the aluminum see all these other holes that are in this paper what have you okay one of them I fired right down here and it's right here right there went right through there and went all the way through the back that's one of them the others are all of these dents it didn't even go through the front part uh, these papers that are ripped uh, like right here that's all it did is it just ripped the paper it didn't really do anything did not go through or anything at all so um, 
they bounced off somewhere. So it shows you they, and I was, what I was doing is I was also varying the amount of velocity by putting more pumps. I was going from three, four, and five, back and forth. The five pumps, I think the BB actually flew apart on about three of them in a row because I didn't hear any hit anywhere. It just kind of went, and you heard that before on some of those that we had on the others. And I just got to think, those may be the ones that are flying apart. Anyway, this is a heck of a good rifle to test those with. Uh, there's no doubt about that because, again, it's a smooth bore. That's what I wanted. I did not want a rifled bore. I wanted it to be smooth to see how these will come out and go. Well, I don't know. These dust devils, they've definitely got their place. Uh, when you're in an area that you don't want to ricochet because you don't... You know, I don't know. They, I have not noticed any ricochets out of them other than the fact I told you where that split and part of it came back when I was firing at AR-500s. So I still say do not fire them at anything like that. Um, it might be good to have one of them say, which I have done before, you have an AR-500 behind another target where the BB might go all the way through. Well, then it's not going to come back out because you got your target up here. It's going to hit that, and by the time it goes through that, as you can tell, they're spent. It'll probably hit that and disperse, just like it's supposed to. But again, they don't just totally shatter. They sometimes split right on that line. So anyway, this was a good test, and again, we were using the Daisy Powerline 3500. Uh, this is a heck of a nice little lightweight gun, a real good, as I call it, pick it up and shoot. Um, when you want to experiment with something like that and even with pellets even though it is not rifled and I recommend that if you're going to be shooting pellets that you use something rifled that you would have and there are multi pumps like that such as the Umarex NXG um, I think uh, Crossman they have theirs are uh, that way too uh, the rifle if I remember right I, don't take me on that one I'm not 100% sure because I don't have one of them Anyway, that was the idea. Take this out, shoot these dust devils, and see what happens. So until next time, shoot safe and have a great day of blinking.